So, one of the last things that I want to show you is um, how I put these dolls together in a collage fashion to tell stories. Again, stories about slavery, abolition, freedom, and, and victory. So now, I think this would be a good one to show you. Uh, and now these are freed slaves. This is what this story is going to be about. Not everything in here is going to go uh, in this piece. But <clears throat> uh, these, again, I make the paper dolls. And there's so many different types of dolls that I make using paper. And um, I never plan the story out. I make dolls in advance. So I might have so far maybe 80 cut out paper dolls. Okay, so that uh, when I'm ready to do an embellishment on a uh, limited edition print, I'll look through the dolls and I'll see how they fit with the story. Uh, these are already on this print. And um, I collect little things to go along with these pieces that I do. Look at this nice little shovel. My neighbor gave me this. And, uh, well, they're not doing any farming, but I might find some kind of way to put it in here um, to tell the story. And, again, because my mind is so vivid and colorful uh, and creative minds, <laughs> mind minds, um, I, as I work, I might see something else that I would have never thought of, but it just comes to me the more I work. So here um, we... Like I said, we collect these old boards. And once this piece right here is what this piece is going to go on, I'm not going to put it down flat because I need it up for now. But I might even add something like this to go with that. Okay. And um, maybe I'm working on this. My neighbor makes these. Uh, he cuts them out using a laser machine. Uh, who knows? Maybe I put, might put a cow in there. It's like a puzzle. The young lady that's filming me right now, she's a genius, and I'm so happy to have her helping me do this kind of stuff. Uh, but she's given me a lot of ideas also, and I'm like, wow, you know, before you know it, I might make a whole building to tell a story. But you know, don't, don't doubt it. I could do something like that. You never know. Um, and so, again, we add on as we go along, but again, okay, everything that you see for me is dolls. They're painted dolls. They're wooden dolls. Uh, they're cloth dolls. And um, where'd my doll go? Uh, we moved it. Um, now these are more dimensional. This is my hair. African American hair because people had asked me about that. What's that on there? I said, well, that's my hair. So when I, you know, comb it and it comes out because sometimes it does when we comb our hair. I said, I'm not throwing it away. I'm going to use it in my pieces also. So that might go up there. So this is how we're going to do our dolls, tell our stories, and again, a story for me that needs to be told. We have to tell these stories because some of these people uh, in my old stories had invisible uh, stories that were never told. So I'm bringing these invisible stories to life by doing these dolls and I'm telling my ancestors stories using dolls. Um, and so I want to introduce one person before I get ready to end my uh, talk. And her name is Simone. Simone, I want you to come and, and turn around and introduce yourself. Hi. She's my friend, and she's the daughter of the young lady that's doing the filming. And she is so smart. And she's teaching me a lot of things about art that I didn't actually know. Um, I'm 
you know, she likes art a lot. And so I told her, well, why don't you draw some things? I gave her some paper and some crayons. And I want her to introduce her dolls that she's making from paper. Go ahead. Now. This Come is on. one of my dolls that I just made and finished. And it has my name on the back. Yeah, I told her to sign it because, uh, you know, when she becomes famous, I'll be able to say I got one of her dolls that she first made. But isn't this fabulous? This looks to me like uh, folk art. And uh, so what are we going to do uh, to finish this, Simone? I mean, I would like it just like this, but she told me she wanted to do something in addition to just that. What did you say you wanted to do? I was going to put the E in the middle and what about the dress? You said you wanted to make a skirt. I'm, I'm making it right now. Oh, you're making it right now. Okay, so it's going to be, again, dimensional like some of, um, you know, the dolls that we do. Now, this doesn't have, a, this is just halfway done, but her doll is going to have a nice skirt, and you're going to draw the skirt, or you're going to cut it out with using fabric? I am drawing it, uh -huh. and then I am going to, whoop. I could just have it paper or just put some fabric or around other paper. Okay. Or just paint it. Okay, well, you know, whichever way you do it, it's all good uh, as far as I'm concerned. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to see more Simone's work because we're going to do another video together because she's giving me some really good ideas and we're helping each other back and forth and I just love her. Okay. Thank you. I'm going to just go. So we're going to end now, and uh, I just want to remind you again about our event that's coming up in a few weeks, two, three weeks. The um, Inn at Palatine Bridge uh, is going to be hosting me uh, to do a doll show, a doll talk, a doll lecture. We're going to have lunch. Uh, great fellowship. Uh, we're going to also share, which I didn't do, we'll we out of time, uh, show you some of the textiles that I've been collecting down through the years. Uh, these are textiles that go back to the 18th century, the late 18th century. So that'll be fun. Uh, I use some of those in my uh, work. And I just want you to know that we're going to have little items for sale, posters. Okay. We're going to have our little posters there for sale. Um, Here's another one. I like this poster. Uh, Allen's 19th Century Dry Goods Mercantile and Old Country General Store. And that's exactly what this is. And one last one I want to show. Um, we'll have booklets uh, for sale, story booklets about uh, some of my art. Allen's 19th Century Dry Goods Mercantile and Old Country General Store. Uh, we want you to come and purchase some things. Uh, the majority of the sales that uh, we get is going to go to a um, an organization that I support and that I love. Uh, so I'm not going to pocket it. Please come and join us. Again, my name is Denise E. Allen. I'm from beautiful Palatine Bridge, New York, Old Order Amish Company, and I hope to see you there at our event. Thank you. Bye-bye.